NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman is discovering two rivers this week and found some furry friends along the way. But first, he joins us live from a new brewery in town that's getting all sorts of buzz. Good morning, Mac. Good morning, Olivia. That's right. I'm live from Cool City Brewing Company in downtown Two Rivers, where I'm going to be talking with the head chef here in just a moment about this amazing spread that they have set up for us. But first, I want to start your morning with something a little warm and fuzzy. I had the chance to stop by London Dairy Alpaca Ranch before coming to town and learn more about alpacas and then the purpose that they really serve. I was really surprised to find out how much fiber these animals produce every year, how they're different from sheep, and how the different colors of alpaca wool feel. This, this is raw alpaca now. Visually, it looks coarse, doesn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It it's looks so coarse. soft. It is soft. And this is raw, nothing done with it. Wow. So we just shear the animal and we throw it in the tub and that's it. And Kevin tells me London Dairy is his opportunity to really showcase agritourism throughout the area. That means it's a full working farm where he takes care of about 50 of these gentle animals and they'll be shorn in the next month or so once the weather warms up just a bit. Now, because it's a full working farm, he encourages everyone to come and check them out. But I can't stress this enough. You do need to make an appointment first because they're busy throughout the day taking care of all of those alpacas. They do have events coming up here in the next couple of months or so. And and they do contribute a lot to the local community. To learn more about that, you can visit our website at NBC26.com. All right, well, we are live here at the uh, Cool City Brewery here in town in downtown Two Rivers. It is very cool. It's getting all sorts of buzz here in the downtown Two Rivers area. Cool City Brewing Company opened in December, and owners held the official grand opening earlier this month. The former bank has been transformed into a restaurant, a brewery, and a coffee shop all in one after sitting vacant for a few years. Now, Cool City founder Gina Cron says she's excited the community can finally see what they've been working on since plans were pushed back during the pandemic. We went through every roller coaster there was to get this place up and running. So um, it's been a long time in the making, but man, now that we're open, it, it certainly has been well received by the community. People have just embraced us and we're super grateful. It's so far so good. And Cron telling me they specialize in flights and comfort food served in a creative way. The best thing I enjoyed about the new brewery is that they kept a lot of the old design, including the old vault that they have as well. They have their drive up window where you can also get some coffee here too. And joining me now is the head chef Casey. So Casey, thank you so much for waking up early with us. Yes. Tell us what we have here. All right, so it's Friday in Wisconsin, so we're going to do a fish fry. So here okay. we have our catch three flight where you get shrimp, schmelt, and perch. And then every Friday we also have clam chowder. I make it from scratch every Friday. And then if you don't want your fried fish, we also have grilled teriyaki salmon. Okay. Um, then... Talk about some of these appetizers here as yes. well. It looks amazing. So this is our beer spins dip. It's my okay. take on spinach artichoke dip. We put beer in there and beer onions, so <laughs> go with the brewery theme. Then we like the flights, so we have the Mac Attack flight. Nice. You get to pick from six flavors of mac and cheese. Here we have the Big Boy, the Chili Mac, and the I Heart Mac. Very um, cool. Then one of our most popular entrees is over here. That's the Drunken Philly. So that's local beef, that local steak that we slice thin and marinate in beer. And then you get some bell peppers and onions in there too. Okay. Um, also some desserts, we, we get cheesecake. We do a cheesecake <laughs> plate from, we get the cheesecake right down the street. That's amazing. Um, one of our newer things is the taco flight, the talk about it flight, where you get to pick from five different flavors of tacos. Okay. So we got the pollo loco, the Kenny's cauliflower and the Terry shrimp on there. All right. And then also, some healthy things like a salad. We got a Caesar salad here. Got to stay healthy. <laughs> bacon and pretzel croutons and a parm wheel on there. And last but not least. Yes, that is our, porta, our Bella fries. So that's tempura battered mushrooms that we deep fry real quick. And then there's a blueberry bourbon sauce on there, some Parmesan cheese and chives. Amazing spread that you have right here. Out of all of these different things, what would you recommend the very most for people who have never come and checked out your restaurant? So I would go with the taco flight. That's brand, okay. that's brand new to the menu about a week or two ago. And all right. it's been one of the top sellers and you get to pick from five different tacos. So you can really get whatever you want. Absolutely. Can you tell me what kind of feeling it is to be able to work at a brand new business like this? It's got to be pretty cool, it's right? It's so nice. I've never had a brand new kitchen. That's really the thing I like the best. It's, but the people here are great too. The customers are great. It's a real, 
nice community vibe we got going on here. All right, Casey, thank you so much. And to learn more about Cool City Brewing Company, you can check out our website at NBC26.com. We're going to send things back to you. Making me hungry this morning. Thank you, Max.